Okay, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to mod Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. This is the most updated version currently that we have. We have a whole new system of, you know, doing things with mods, which is just really, really cool. And uh, let me show you how to do these things. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to right click, go manage, and then go to browse local files. So this is in your Steam. And then when you do that, this is going to take you over to your actual uh game directory okay then the next thing that you want to do is you want to go over here to overstrike i'm going to have it linked in the description and this is the most updated version here so what you want to do is you want to go to your to click on files here manual download and then it'll come up with this so if you don't have this installed if this is your first time make sure to have this installed so it can actually work properly okay and then the next step you want to do is you want to grab overstrike and then you want to just drag it in here and if you have a strike it'll override it so let it do that otherwise just drag it in here okay now comes the fun part so then you can start kind of like choosing your mods right you can choose whatever mods you want um, but you want to boot up overstrike okay so I've, I've I already have like overstrike booted up here and I have some certain mods installed so I already have the, and if you've never seen this before, this is where it starts to get a bit different. So we now have modular files and what that allows people to do is it allows you to kind of right click it and then edit modules. And now you can edit everything in one go here. So you can change everything very, very easily and very, very, um, very quickly. It's not a hassle anymore. I did a tutorial on the original way to do this it was a bit of a hassle you'd have to put the suit file in and then put other stuff underneath but now it's so much easier but now we're going to go ahead and add our mods here so as you can see i have a modular mods uh, library here and i'm just going to select all of these and then open them okay now we're just going to wait for them to uh, load in here and then you're going to see what i'm going to do so now that you have all of these things installed here, okay, and after I'm done with this, I'm going to boot up the game to show to you that it all in fact does work. We're going to start editing the mods to our liking. So remember, right click the classic suit or whatever you want to edit, click on edit modules, and this is where you can start kind of changing everything. So I've done a video on the classic suit uh, by Tango Ted's, the modular one and that one i did a tutorial for as well but here it's, it's just as simple as what you want to do so you, i could do like fake red we'll do white lenses web shooter color can stay you know silver soul color can be like can be i don't know just make it black logo can be i guess eric larson uh logo color can be white because i like the white logo color we'll turn off the web wings it's as simple as that primary color can be I mean, we can do like orange, red, and then secondary color can be maybe white. I don't know. We'll, we'll do something kind of weird with it. We'll do like, yeah, orange, red, or rose. Doesn't really matter. And then you click save, and that one's done. Okay. Then we're going to go to the definitive advanced suit by Vernix. So this is going to modify your advanced suit, right? So base suit is definitive advanced suit, or you can also change up the vanilla advanced suit so we can do like definitive first and then we can change the deep red materials so we can do like deep red or default we'll do deep red uh you can make it very glossy high gloss um low gloss or no gloss let's just do high gloss for the sake of the video right different colors we could do like e3 e3 colors default trim concept art colors concept art colors default trim there's special colors as well um, there's there's a lot of colors here. So I think what we'll do is let's just do like concept art Why not gauntlet and logo can we we can make it? Uh, retext like upscaled black logo and gauntlets red logo and gauntlets. We'll do black Because uh, why not then we can change the materials uh, But we'll leave it whatever because uh, we were uh, Just using default things for the most part then we can change uh Custom fabrics, original materials, original materials file must be enabled. So I think this is, I mean, I don't know. We could just try it and see if it works. Yeah, original materials compatible with gloss. 
So we could kind of change it up and really go for like 2099 fabrics or whatever. I guess we'll restore original materials and this is incompatible with gloss factor and deep red so I guess we'll turn these off for now. And then yeah, we'll do 2099 fabrics, why not? Sp <laughs> Spooderman be gone. So that's when you're using custom web swinging, he doesn't look like Spooderman. So I'm excited to see how this looks here as well. There we go. Then we have a really cool, like a really cool one here. Uh, this is the Sensational Suit by Dead Gun, uh, which is just really, really cool. I wanted to do a video on this, but this is the perfect time to do it here. Um, so we could do primary color. I really want to get wacky with this. Let's do silver primary color, secondary color can be, hmm, I want to be, I want to go like, actually, we'll do like, yeah, we'll do silver and black. Uh, what color should I do for the logo? Interesting, we could do like gold. Ooh, actually, this could be very, very cool. So we could do like gold as well for the secondary color. And then maybe do red. We'll do red primary. Or maybe... Actually, we'll do blue secondary color. Could be red. We'll do like a webman kind of variant, right? Uh, logo can be... Yeah, red, right? Then lens color can be... <laughs> we'll make that red as well. Web shooter can be red. I'm really just going for all the red, right? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So, I don't know what Symbiote loadout is. I'll have to look into that. But yeah, we'll do like primary color blue. Lens color can be red. Web shooter color can also be blue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll do it like that. I think that might work. Click save. Then another really cool one that we do have here is actually unlimited combat. And this one changes your combat fully to be really, really cool. Um, so we've got Avernix's one. We can also do flashy if you want, but I'll keep it to Avernix. Attack speed can be increased speed or default. We'll do increased speed. Better battle focus, which means it uses uh, battle focus more often, so it like recharges pretty quickly. And then you can also do like restore perfect dodge slow motion, which we're going to enable. So there we go. So this is the definitive edition here. And then we also have unlimited physics which is like web swinging. So if we want immersive with the amazing Spider-Man, uh, we'll do immersive, right? And then once you're done with everything, as you can see, you just click install. And then it should be installing everything. Okay, so we're here in game and the first mod that we're actually looking at here is the Avernix, uh, the advanced suit mod. And as you can see, the changes are already made. Um, so let's look at the actual like materials and everything like that. The colors are way better, right? Like we've got the deep reds and everything like that as well. Um, I don't know if the textures are proper, but you can tell the textures are, I think somewhat different, but the colors do look way, way better. Um, and yeah, it looks super, super nice. I am very, very happy with how this one turned out. Um, and then we can actually go look at the back here as well. You know, it looks really, really good. And now we can actually start looking at the other ones that we've done. So we can kind of go over and look at the uh, sensational suit. So this is what we got out of the sensational suit because I did select the red and blue stuff, right? So this actually kind of looks really cool to me at least. Um, so we've got like the really cool uh, red lenses there and the blue, um, you know, the blue overall like suit color. I like the actual color itself. It's a very, very nice color. Then we go down here, you know, we've got the red sort of uh, like emblem as well and the actual like other like red color for the secondary colors web shooters are blue as well um it looks really really good same thing with the actual like boots and everything like that it really did turn out pretty pretty nice so uh, i do want to see your guys's combinations as well so tweet them at me over on twitter and now we're going to look at the tango one as well so there's the classic suit and this was actually pretty cool too right so we got like a yeah i, I kind of dig this it's almost Kind of reminds me of like the Mary Jane one, right? Like when she has her own like suit and stuff. I, I dig this combo. So we've got the sort of fake le fake red lenses. I think Eric Larson emblem, uh, white secondary colors, white emblem itself. And then like a nice, I think the orange red as well. I think this is really nice. So this is all the stuff that we've got working here. And then we're going to look at the actual camera itself as well. 
Um, so let's, I don't know, let's swing around with the Tango one for a second here. And I, I do want to say, like, if you have any issues, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll be able to help you out. But the camera and then the web swinging and everything like that definitely feels kind of more improved, which I definitely dig a lot. So, okay, there's a crime. So we might as well just go take that out and just talk here. So something that I really like about these mods is how they keep evolving. And then when Marvel Spider-Man 2 comes around, you already know that the, the mod evolution is going to be so much faster than it was for this game. Because this game was kind of slow with the, with the modding. So let's see if the actual um, better focus works here as well. So let's see. All right, there. Oh, we've got the per I think perfect dodge slow motion. Oh, do we? No, we don't. I don't know. But I don't think I have it enabled anyway. So maybe I should go into the settings here, and then enable the perfect dodge. But I think that might look a lot better as well. So let's see it now. Let's see it if it works. Oh yeah, that is that feels a bit better, doesn't it? So there we go. Oh, see, there's those takedowns, like the ones that you rarely see as well. And that only comes from this. Yeah, okay. So that's sick. And then let's use a bit of Dead Guns uh, mod as well, the Sensational Suit. Oh, I'm dropping frames, man, but I am recording with OBS here, so. Oh, that was a sick dodge. Hello? Oh my god, my frames, dude. My frames. <laughs> my frames. Oh, the game is suffering, but it is so worth it. Just to see all these guys get, like, taken out. And I'm gonna... And as you can see, when I use the better focus, like, it doesn't have that annoying green, like, tint to it. So, that is great. There we go. Take this guy out. We'll sprint over to this guy. Okay, I can't use the battle focus just yet, but I'll just knock this guy out. Yeah, look at look at these combos, man. <laughs> so, there you go. So, this is the actual mod tutorial. Let me know if there's anything that you need help with in the comments below. Watch another video here. Thank you so much for watching. Have an absolute wonderful day. Peace.